Hey everyone, I'm Ruth. Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'll be drawing and painting a portrait with punk pastels and pastel pencils. I'll be showing you all my techniques to draw this portrait, so let's get right into the tutorial. start by taping my paper to the surface and then I use a soft paintbrush to apply the first layer of pan pastel. I mix my colors on my brush by dabbing the brush onto the pan pastel pans and then applying them to the paper. Here I use a tiny paintbrush to apply the first layer of hair with various shades of brown and I use a Conte à Paris white pencil to apply some highlights and a kneaded eraser to erase some of the pigment. Now I start adding the background and I use a soft tool here and I apply the background on the areas that I have already painted in some of the portrait, so I won't smudge it later. So on to the first layers of the eye and the eyebrow, also with pan pastels. I apply light layers with my paintbrushes, and I will add the details with pencils later on. So I use various brushes and soft tools to apply these first layers, mixing the color on my brush by dabbing them onto the pans and then applying them to my paper. So onto the nose, applying the first layers with my paint brushes, blending them together and then using a paper stun to add some darker colors to create depth. So as you can see I change uh, the tools quite often. I use the soft tools, the paint brushes and the paper stun and I change between them quite often using the brush that I think that works best on the various areas. I also use these brushes to blend the colors together on the paper as you can see me doing here. Now on to the mouth, again applying a light layer of pan pastel with a brush and then adding some darker colors with my paper stone. And on to the eye, using my tiniest brush to add the various colors, the first layer with pan pastels. And the reason that I'm applying these light layers is because I want to go over it with my pastel pencils later on to create the detail. And if I apply too much pan pastel already, then it will become impossible to add more layers with my pastel pencils. So that's why I add light layers in the beginning. So on to the lip, again using my paint brushes to add light layers and then on to the background again, applying some blues and greys and white, just using my soft tool here and blending the colors on the paper. So on to the eyebrow using my tiny little brush and the hair on the side of the face. And now I put a piece of paper underneath my hand so I won't smudge my drawing and I start adding detail with my Caran d'Ache pastel pencils and using a paper stump again to blend the colors together. So on to the eye, adding all 
the fine little details. I'm using the paper stump again to blend the colors together. So applying all the highlights and shadows with my pastel pencils. Paying attention to my reference photo over and over again to create that realistic look. So on to the lips. Using my pastel pencils to add the details. And I'm working with a very light hand, you don't have to push hard on your pencils. And blending the colors with the paper stump. And the nice thing with pastel pencils is that you can work with light over dark. So you can apply dark colors first and then adding the highlights with the lighter colors. I did leave the white highlights in the eyes white. So I won't have to add a white highlight with pencil, they're just white of the paper. So adding all of the fine details here, some shadows and highlights. And remember that the whites of the eyes are never white. They're always gray, blue shades even, but never really white. So always add gray tones, blue tones in the whites of the eye to get that realistic look. So adding some more shadow to the nose and some highlights as well. And the fine details to the lips. And on to the hair again. On this side the light is falling on the hair so I keep that hair really light. And now I'm adding the background here. With my grey tones, my blue and whites. And on to the close. I add plain black here. Filling in all of the sweater and blending it together with my paper stump. Using some soft tools here and a brush. Adding some more color to the face, some purple tones. Just applying the color of the sweater here with various soft tools. Some more detail to the lips and to the hair. And here I start adding the freckles. With a brown color. And now I use a black pastel pencil. To create that really deep black on the sweater. Some more freckles. And the final details to the lips and the eyebrows as well. And then I'm ready to take off the tape. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get informed when a new video comes out. You can leave a comment down below and don't forget to share my video with all your friends. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Bye.